Welcome to this quick overview of RevTrack's ability to integrate with ITSM tools. In this case, the tool we're going to be using is ServiceNow. Once you either upload RevTrack's plugin via XML file or download RevTrack from the ServiceNow App Store, uh, you get this integration plugin area and it provides the ability to map fields inside of RevTrack uh, with ServiceNow and of course connect it to your RevTrack instance within the web core. Uh, once that's set up, and it can be set up in many different ways with any different uh, object inside of ServiceNow, we'll show you how the integration can work. So in this case, we're going to request a change for the payroll parental leave exemption flag to be added to uh, the annual leave request inside of the payroll system. I'm going to choose the RevTrack request owner and I'm going to choose request approval. Okay, that'll communicate with the RevTrack system. Now going on into the RevTrack screen and just refreshing my dashboards, we'll see there'll be a new item here and that's the payroll parental leave exemption flag request. So inside of RevTrack now, aut automatically emails are sent to the person associated with this change. In this case, the owner is Chris Drake. Uh, he'll receive an email requesting that he goes and performs some work against this request. So I'm going to approve the change just to let the business know that I'm currently working on it. And then I'll go into the SAP system to go and make my change. So I'm going to go to SE38 and create this object payroll one. And of course, we have the RevTrack enforcement screen asking which RevTrack request we plan on associating this transport. We'll use the RevTrack request number here, which is 2717, and associate our new transport to that RevTrack request. At this point, the developer can add whatever code or customization they need to in order to get this to work. So that's all standard SAP. Uh, returning back to RevTrack, when we hit refresh and we look at the technical tab, we can now see the transport is associated with this RevTrack request. Next is to trigger the migration to the QA system, and that can happen once the developer is confident that they've achieved everything that they needed to for this particular request. So we can see here the migration to QA can occur. On approving this step, the transport will be released and queued to the target group of QAS support. Some automatic safety checks are currently occurring and on approval, we'll see that that transport is released and then queued to the target system. In just one moment, I'll grab the transport number and we'll have a look at how this is reflected inside of the SAP system. Here we can see the automatic import steps occurring in the background. And that automatic migration has now occurred successfully via RevTrack. When we refresh the RevTrack request, we'll notice that due to a successful import, the status has now progressed to in QA. Looking at the history, we can see of course that Chris Drake, the owner of the request, approved the in progress and the migration to QA step, but the automatic uh, approval of the inQA step was performed uh, by the auto approver or the auto MIG, which is RevTrack's check to make sure that it had a successful return code for that transport import. So this is now reflected, of course, inside of ServiceNow. When we look at this request, we can see the current status is known to ServiceNow. It's in QA, and of course, we have that affiliation with the uh, the numbers there. If we make any changes inside of either service now. Um, so we might say, it's not a flag, it's a checkbox, for example. Uh, we can update that. And of course, that'll be reflected in the RevTrack request. Refreshing that, we'll now see the checkbox has been uh, added to the end of this request. Now, because it's truncated over there, on, on the RevTrack side, we might decide, actually, we're happy for it to just be a check. We can save that. 
And of course, this is a bi-directional integration, so that'll be reflected on the ServiceNow side. And we can see it's an exemption check as opposed to a checkbox now. Um, the next step here is the test and complete step. Uh, and just to prove that we can have uh, the integration occur bi-directionally and we can have approvals occur in both environments, the test and complete step could be performed right here. Um, sorry, that's my refresh could be approved right here, but also if we wanted our users to operate in ServiceNow, we could have the test approval occur inside of ServiceNow. And they would move it to test approved and update. And once that's occurred on the ServiceNow side, we can hit the refresh and we can see that has now been performed. Of course, being logged via the workflow here, any interaction has been logged uh, in the order trail. So the next step, once the users are happy with the testing, uh, we can of course have a migration occur to the production environment. In this case, we've put a dependency on the ServiceNow system and we can see the ServiceNow ID is not yet approved for production. Okay? And what we're looking for specifically on the RevTrack side is for the field that we're mapping here, in this case it's currently test approved, but we're waiting for that to say that it's approved for production. So that is essentially a dependency on the ITSM tool to have an approval occur before the RevTrack approval of the equal nature can occur. Here we can see if we change it to production approval in service now, that'll be reflected in the synchronized fields and that will allow for RevTrack to progress the migration to production. We need to refresh. Of course, there's some synchronization occurring there. Once again, that transport has been queued and selected for import. So on the back end here, we can now see the production import is occurring. And we have, once again, a successful import. The RevTrack request has moved to a status of complete. And of course, on the ServiceNow side, it is now known to the business that this request for change, the parallel parental leave exemption check, is now in a status of complete.